Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So now we have created all the components, right? So now it's time for us to design the header and the footer. So let's go to the header thing. And I am writing all writing all the CSS in the app.css only. So we'll discuss about the CSS also in our upcoming videos. And here let's go to the header.js file. And here this is our header. Uh, let's say I will be having something like class name is equal to header. We will have it like this. And let's go to the app.css file. And in this app.css file, I will create dot header, which we will be having like this. And header we are creating. And in this header, what I will do is, uh, what I can say, um, we will give padding of around uh, 2 rem comma 0 top and bottom i am giving okay let's see whether we are able to get this uh, padding or not and for this header and afterwards i will apply a background color of uh, light coral or anything okay so we have applied for this one also let's see and uh, here also we will see so it's compiling i'm thinking and here let's refresh this page whether we are able to get yes now in our app.css file and here and i will make it as a center text align center so and also i will increase the font weight to bold and i will give font size as 1.5 rem okay that's it so now we have increased or otherwise we'll make it as 2 rem fine that's it so nice so we'll keep it like this and here we'll change it to grocery list okay grocery list nice now now it's fine now let's try to add this add item and items list and this is footer let's design this footer first so we have a footer.js file let's go into the footer.js file and here we will write uh, class name is equal to afterwards we'll add it uh, footer and for this footer let's go to the app.css and dot footer i want to move this one uh, to the bottom so i will keep it as a position fixed okay and uh, bottom is zero so it will be moved to the bottom fine and i will give a background color for this one background color of yellow or anything so i'll give yellow only previously so we need to have that one full left, full right left zero and right zero then it will come full length and i will give a padding of 2 rem comma zero now you'll be able to get it and i will make it as a text align center and it will come to the center and i will give a font size of 2 rem fine and i will give font weight of bold this one also fine or otherwise you'll give something around 2.5 rem yeah footer is also completed now it's time for us to design this add item and items list let's go to the header.js not header.js add item we will go to the add item we need to create a form right in this due i will create a form we'll discuss about these all things form in this form i can go to one div and i can have a label and here let's close this label and here i will be having one something like item name and for the uh, for this one i can have input type is equal to text so we can have a text here i will keep it like this only and i will have an another div and for this one also you'll have a label and this one is a quantity we need to show the quantity don't uh, think about that one all so we'll try to design that one all and the select query we'll have a select uh, not select query it's a select element option one two three so i will keep it as a three and i will keep it as a two option uh, finished and i will go to another div and here also i will have a label and what we can see price okay and here we can have an input type is equal to number we can also take it as a number okay so fine so we are having three things and at the final time we will be having a here 
what is this one button we'll take a button and here add item i'm having an add item and i will add a class for this one uh, button btn and here for this form or div uh, we will have something like class name is equal to uh, what you can say is uh, add item okay so that's it and here also we need to keep it as a class name and we'll also keep it uh, inspect element also so that we can be able to see the <coughs> errors if any errors is there in the console yeah fine let's go to the console and refresh this page so so far so no so far no errors so we are not able to see any errors okay and here fine everything is fine now let's try to design this form before closing of this one so here let's go to the app.css and we are having for this add item add item right and in this one dot add item okay add item or otherwise what i will try to do is in this add item instead of keeping for this one i will keep for this form thing okay and uh, let's go to the app.css add item who is having greater than two okay mm, i will apply a margin of one rem comma zero where we will be having some gaps so we will be able to see some gaps fine and in this add item whoever is having a label and they should be display block so that input box and all those things will come down okay first we will keep the container actually we are designing the thing but we are not having a container okay let's try to do the afterwards so this one item quantity we got it and here also the add item input comma dot add item and also select element i am taking all these select elements and i will give width of around 100 percent okay and let's keep it like that and here i can have something like uh, padding 10 pixel mm -hmm. and another one is uh, enough let's keep it like this and here we need to add a container let's go to the app.js file app.js file and here these are all the things we are having in a container right instead of this one so we will keep it uh, header outside and this container and everything should be inside this div okay okay and we can wrap the entire thing with another div now this container we need to uh, what I can say we need to add the CSS so here let's take the container and I will take the width of around 80% or otherwise we'll take it as a 90% okay so we got the gap and we'll give margin of auto left and right auto also you can give the complete auto will give fine right so this is looking somewhat fine add item so let's try to take this button also button also will design it dot btn and we can have a border of none okay and background color we can give something like an uh, purple and the color i will give it as an hash fff and i will give padding of around 10 pixel comma 15 pixel mm, hopefully i'll keep it like this fine now so we got this one all and we'll show the item list at the bottom only or otherwise if you want to you can also show it at the left side also we'll try to sh show it at the bottom and here let's go to this uh, add item.js file and here i will add one h3 okay add item so we have added h3 and we are able to see this one so now the last one which is remaining is the items list so we will design this items list also we'll close this one so items list okay here what i need to do here i need to show the each item so here let's go one div and here let's say that we will be having a div class name is equal to item okay so this is single item in this single item what i want to do is i want to show the item name and also what is happening here oh sorry okay yeah item name and here i need to show the quantity or something like one and here i will be showing the price dollar 20 uh, we'll show these things only so now if you see here we are able to see 
but this should not be like this we should be something like uh, adjacent in a row like it should be so let's go to the app.css and here i can have an item and i will make it as a display flex okay let's refresh uh, refresh it yeah fine i want to keep it as a justify justify content uh, not center space between i will give like this space between yes and i want to get uh, something like uh, <coughs> uh, an item center also i'll keep it okay that's it so e enough enough for us so this is thing and we will try to add a header for this one do and here i can add an h3 items list you will add it like this and we are able to see this items list also now the last one what i want to do is so here if i add another item here okay and here we are able to see another item so like this we are able to see all the items right but i don't want this one so i want to make it as a separate component okay so for this one what i will do is i will create a separate component single item single item dot js file and in this single item dot js file so let's export default function single item sorry single item and here i will return the code div oh oh i can copy i have copied it right and now i can make use of this item here directly okay item what has happened item sorry this is not an item single item single item and there is no need for us so here also i can remove it so now if i want to add multiple means so i will add four items four items will come automatically so this is how we can show it and we can add uh, so we will show we will show uh, quantity is there price is there and we will also try to remove that item also we'll try, we will do it one by one so this is how we will be designed so now hopefully everything is done so now it's time for us to do the logic so i think the de design thing and everything is completed so this is how we will be designing and i will commit this code in our new branch that is nothing but video iphone 23 video iphone 23 and uh, what i can say is components design we are maybe having doubts or anything so you already know about my github repository url so react 18 oh sorry where is this one react uh, 18 yeah here so i am publishing this branch so whoever may be having doubts or anything so if they want to refer the code so they can go to my branch and whatever the video you are trying to observe so you can go to that particular branch and you can get this all code so that's it guys about the designing so let's try to focus on the programming side also in the next video onwards hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you